You guys, it's fall. I'm excited. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Virgel, and in this corner of the internet, I make design and lifestyle related videos. If that's something that interests you and you wanna stick around, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Also, I've decided to have a consistent schedule upload, so I wanna post every Thursday. If not every Thursday, then every other Thursday, but the main thing you wanna keep out an eye for is that I am going to post on Thursdays, and so you should see that inside your subscription feed. I'm really excited about today's video for all of you because I will be redesigning the Bath & Body Works logo. So this challenge has actually been going around on the internet for a little while now when um, designers basically try and redesign a popular brand or a popular logo. So since I am a graphic designer myself, I decided that I wanted to take a crack at it and kind of see and challenge myself to redesign a popular logo and see what how um, it ends up turning out. So I chose Bath & Body Works because I don't know about you, but during this time of the year, I'm like super into candles more than I usually am because I really love candles. It's something that I use throughout the entire year. I kind of like burn them and everything, but Bath & Body Works really jumps out to me this time of year because I love their fall collection candles. All of their scents, I love them all. It doesn't matter as long as it's like woodsy or anything that has pumpkin spice or apples and outdoors, you know, things like that. I am all for it. And I know Bath & Body Works is also known for other care products like lotions, perfumes, um, sanitizers, things like that. But my main focus, whenever I go into Bath & Body Works, I laser focus on their candles and I just basically smell them the entire time I'm there. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of the reason why I go to Bath & Body Works in the first place. <laughs> but yes, since it is fall, and everything's cozy, things are, the weather outside is getting a little cooler, so everyone wants to bundle up, of course. I got my nice cardigan over here. And so I thought it'd be a great idea to redesign the Bath & Body Works logo. Just a little bit of history on Bath & Body Works. Under the L Brands, it was founded in 1990 at New Albany, Ohio, and had its first store opened in Cambridge, Massachusetts. It has now since expanded across six different continents, and in 1997, it was the largest bath shop chain in the U.S. In the same year of 1997, a secondary brand called Bath & Body Works at Home was launched. That division was first named Slatkin before switching to the White Barn Candle Company. So Bath & Body Works seems to have two logos, but I'm not entirely sure which one is the main and which one is the secondary alternative logo. I think it may be this one. Looking at it, I see that they used a thin sans serif font and the kerning is close together. I've actually noticed for the first time that body and works are actually separate words. I don't know why I didn't notice that before, I thought it was one word. Maybe it's because the kerning is too tight. I like that they used a sans serif font and kept things simple and clean cut, but I don't really like how only the B's and W's are in all caps, which is something I think I'm going to change, and I think the kerning might be too close for me. On their second logo, they have it stacked with the word bath considerably larger than the rest of the words, and all of the letters and ampersand are touching each other with a tight letting, which I think is to mimic the close kerning. Then, they have it within a bright pink box with their gingham pattern in the background. I don't entirely like this logo too much, so I might change this one up a lot, but I still want to keep some elements from this. Being inside of a shape, I think it's something I'm okay with, so I'll keep that, but I think the pattern in the back is too much. I also think I might shorten the name into a monogram focusing on their main letters. I do plan to stick with their color scheme though. Next in my design process, I looked through the internet and things around me to draw more inspiration for my designs. Some things that jumped out to me looking at their logo was that it was modern, but I also thought of maybe making the logo feel a little more artisan, so I looked at some inspiration on that too. Now I, in my design process, I jump over here to my sketchbook and um, basically for this, I make roughs of what I want to do for my um, digital designs. So when I say roughs, these are like really, really roughs um, because I only focus mainly on composition or kind of just get my ideas flowing about how I want it to exactly look once I do um, start working on the computer. Um, so there's nothing like, 
I don't really put a lot of pressure on myself um, to make sure that these designs look really well on paper. I mean, like it might look like chicken scratch. I'm just gonna give you a warning in advance, but that's completely fine because, you know, when I do go on the computer, that's where I actually do the fine tweaking and making sure that everything looks a little bit more, you know, like an actual logo. But for now, while I'm on here, I kind of just get my ideas flowing. And I find also that if I don't put so much pressure on myself to make sure that the logo designs look nice on paper, it, it just seems like my creativity flows a lot better on how I want um, it to look. So the first thing that I start out before I even start um, drawing out the wordmark logo, um, I end up putting down words on the side um, of like, what kind of feelings I want the logo to invoke towards people when they see it. Um, and just, it kind of gives me a better sense of direction of like how exactly, like what kind of type I want to use and all that kind of stuff. So I want it to look refined, um, sophisticated. And I apologize in advance if I accidentally like mess up spelling something. I'm just gonna throw that out there, but I will make sure that I actually spell the Bath & Body Works logo correctly when I do go on the computer. Um, so we also want it to kind of look artisan for this one, for a new look of this. I also want to keep it modern, of course, and just as a um, reference for me, I do want to play around with the colors, but I want to kind of stick with the Bath & Body Works colors um, possibly for this. Other feelings I want to, I want to make the audience feel, let's see, cozy, definitely, because, you know, they're candles, of course, always welcoming. Ah, yes, welcoming, I could do that. Okay, and we seem to have refined, sophisticated, um, but also, like, cozy and welcoming, so to put that together, I kind of want the logo to look fancy and bougie but like I don't want it to be so top tiered bougie because that's just not in with their branding um I kind of want it to be more like a I don't know like a middle ground bougie is that even a word I don't know I feel like I just made a word up but it's fine we're just gonna roll with it so we'll just put uh yes middle ground Bougie. Okay, so I think that's enough words for me. I'm completely fine with. And we're just gonna start. Um, yeah, we're just gonna start and sketch out any of the ideas that come to mind while I'm going on. So let's see. Um, yeah, and also um, I don't really mess around with type whenever I end up doing these sketches. It's really all composition as I said earlier so I'm just gonna be focusing on that I might end up playing around um with typefaces in here but it's more likely that I won't okay so now I'm pretty much just spacing out the letters just to see how it would look like since I didn't really like the kerning earlier like I said and then over here I'm trying out with maybe if there were serifs on the font instead of the sans serif What was that? What is this? Body borks. And no, <laughs> that is not what I meant. Okay, I don't know where that came from. We're just gonna fix that. It kind of sounds like something for like a, I don't know, like a dog? Something to do with dogs, like a grooming company for dogs. I don't know. So yeah, now I'm testing out different layouts that I can try out, like stacking the logo instead of having it straight across. And then I was thinking of maybe adding a little icon there on the corner. Or having it centered. Here I was thinking of bubbles, so I thought maybe that would have been a good motif, but I ended up not liking that at all. I think I can start working on the whole, um, more of like a monogram logo. So for this one, um, I'm gonna push this up a little bit more. 
for more space. But for this one, I want to stick with the B, the two Bs for here, Bath and Body Works. So I was thinking maybe if I can do like a, a reflecting B in a circle, we can see if that looks cool at, at any point. I don't know how to draw a backwards B, I think that's how it looks. Hmm. I don't know about that. Kind of looks a little odd. What if I thickened this a little bit? Would that change anything? I mean, it's something. I don't know if I like it exactly. Wow, no, okay. Um, so the reason why I ended up doing a circle instead of keeping with a square was because with Bath and Body Works, you know, with all the bath products, I immediately thought of bubbles, which is why I tried doing the little bubble motifs earlier, but that didn't work out. Um, so yeah, I stuck with a circle instead just to kind of replicate the bubble in a way. Um, I messed around with the composition of the bees, whether it be stacked together or, you know, separated because I didn't really like how that reflected, as I said. Then I went back to using the full word Bath and Body Works just because I kind of liked how I had the bees closer together. I still wasn't exactly um, sold yet whether I wanted the bees kind of closer together or if I wanted the bees side by side. This is me still trying out the reflected bees like one more time. Obviously that didn't look good so I stopped doing that. Okay, I think that these 20 are good. This is a good stopping point for um, writing out the drafts of everything that I have. Um, so basically I'm going to choose probably um, just a few that I actually like that I can play around with on the computer. So I do kind of like how this is spaced out. So this is something I should try. Um, I'm gonna change the color over here. I'm actually going to pick uh, this blue Sharpie so I can figure out which one I wanna stick with. Uh, okay, so um, just play around with one of this idea. I kinda like whatever typeface I was going on with for here, though uh, that's something I kinda was working on. Um, okay, I don't think I like that one. I was thinking of like maybe adding some type of like symbol on here and kind of make it a combination mark, but I don't think I really like that idea anymore looking at it. Definitely not that one. Um, not that one. This is kind of confusing um, looking at it. It doesn't really look that great. The stacked version of it um, isn't that bad. That's something maybe I'd try and play around with. This one here in the middle. Hmm. I don't know. You know, I actually like that this is closer together though. Um, in the letters. Uh, so I might do that one. Like the kerning is a little better on that. Um, so we're just gonna scribble that out. Uh, da, da, da. What else? Oop, my bad. Okay, this, I see where I'm going on with this. I'm trying to like put the words around and like have a circle, space them out. So that is something I wanna mess around with in terms of this version of the logo. Um, let's see if there's anything on this side that I kinda wanna play with. I don't, still don't know how I managed to make that ampersand backwards, but I did. This is also interesting. Um, I can play with that one. Um, I mean, either or. 
uh, with the placement of this and right here. Oddly, this is doing it for me more. I could be wrong and I might need to pick this one instead. I don't know. Um, and then I also like, what else do I like? Hmm. I also like that one, which isn't, it's not too far off from what I have for this one right here. Um, coming from this one, it's just like adding a circle. I just didn't feel like putting an extra type there. And then I might play around with this one just for kicks and giggles, but it's not really something that I really want to focus on. Like if I end up liking any of the ones I starred already while I'm in the middle of doing all of that, I think I might just stick with that. So with this, I'm playing around with, let's see how many different one, two, um, three. So I have three potentials in terms of the word mark logo version of Bath and Body Works. And then um, something more for the monogram logo look. I'm playing with one, to possibly three. I mean, like, that's still a lot, I guess, in terms of trying to do a digital rough on the computer. Sometimes that happens. Um, I like to play around a lot with different things and ideas just because there's a lot of variety for me. Um, and I seem to be able to crank them out pretty fast. So I think I'm good with these. These are all set. And now it's time to put them all into the computer and work my magic. All right, let's go. So now it's time to move onto the computer so I can start doing the digital wraps and then finalizing the logo. So I have the sketchbook here that I worked on earlier that you saw um, with all of the logo ideas that I had going on both sides. And then I wrote down the words, of course, up here to keep in mind of, of the look and feel. You also want to um, be mindful of the target audience. So we're going to make sure to refer to that. And then also I'm going to pull up the current Path and Body Works logo. I'm just going to put it here on my workspace. That way I can refer to pretty easily. Um, and then I have the screen recording up just so we can have a closer look at the overall design that I'm working on. And um, yeah, I'm going to try to put myself in a corner for a smaller screen so you can still see me but the main focus is on this so this is going to be blown up a lot larger just so you can see it better but all right i'm super excited to get right into it so i'm i'm ready to go and we're gonna start all right okay so what i'm basically doing now is going through all of the fonts in my log to try and see exactly what is the right font that matches with the look and feel of Bath and Body Works. So at first I'm kind of trying a serif font just because I thought it kind of looked nice in the sketchbook as I said earlier and it kind of had more of that artisan feel that I was going for. I also decided to get rid of that ampersand and changed it into more of the plus looking sign just because I thought it was a little bit more clean cut and modern. So now I've moved on to the sans serif fonts, still going through all of the fonts that are logged on that I have. I was trying to find something that matched with the current Bath & Body Works logo um, in terms of the weight. Because as you see, it's like really thin for their current logo. So I chose that one to go with for the sans serif version. And then I'm going through the serif version, just narrowing it down. And I chose the one at the bottom because it was a thinner um, stroke. So I decided to stick with the sans serif in the end just because 
It just seemed like it was closer to the current branding and it had that modern feel. I was thinking a little further too when I was like, Bath & Body Works isn't actually handmade. Their products aren't really handmade. So I just decided to stick with the sans serif font to keep that more modern, that more modern look. A little more corporate, I guess, in a way, instead of that whole um, local shop feel. So right now I'm kind of working on the kerning just because those seemed a little too spaced out. It just didn't look right to me at all. Now here what I'm doing um, with that and sign, I didn't like how it looked lower compared to the rest of the words, so I'm trying to level it off with the line of the H. Right here I'm still messing with the serif font just because I thought maybe I still wanted it. It wasn't entirely sold yet at this point, I think. Then I didn't really like how I ended up having the logo stacked instead of having it straight across. So I moved those to the side. And now I'm working on the monogram because I liked what I did at the end with the word mark logo. So I first tried the two stacked B's. Then I'm kind of struggling here because I kind of forgot how to pull up the glyphs for a hot second. But I remembered eventually, so just added it there. And then I wanted to have the whole Bath & Body Works name around the two B's because I thought it looked pretty cool and just so it still has that whole name kind of like their secondary logo because I did just do the whole monogram So now I'm just pulling their colors. And then now I'm trying the two Bs next to each other instead of having them stacked. I tried that version with the colors to see if I ended up liking it. And I almost went with it. But then I tried it with the other one that I had earlier, just centering everything, and then I decided that I actually liked the stack Bs more than the ones um, side by side. It just looked a little more clean to me in a way, and it just seemed a little more modern. This right here is the logo drafts that I ended up not going with. And now I'm just arranging the final logos that I've chosen to redesign for Bath & Body Works. So I have the black and white versions as well as the colored versions. Um, just before I ended things, um, I actually thought of rounding off the corners of the bees and changing the type a little bit, just so it kind of matches with the whole um, circle giving that whole bath and bubbles type feel. When I ended up rounding the corners on the top and bottom, it kind of looked a little more juvenile for me, so I ended up just doing the top corner instead of the bottom corner. Last minute, I totally forgot about the whole body and works being two separate words again, um, so I ended up fixing that off screen and I made there be 
a slight space in between the two of them. And so you'll see that in the reveal at the end. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did because I had a lot of fun redesigning the Bath & Body Works logo. If you did like this video, make sure to let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Now I actually had a lot of fun doing this design challenge and seeing what I can do with the Bath & Body Works logo, so I was thinking of making this actually into a series if you guys are interested in it. So if I were to do another video on this, I was thinking since Halloween is coming up, I might redesign a popular candy logo. Um, if that's something that you'd like to see, just let me know in the comment section below if there is a certain candy brand that you'd like me to redesign their logo for. Or, you know, you can also just drop any kind of popular logo you'd like to see me redesign also in the comment section below. Oh, if you are interested, please support me on Ko-Fi by buying me a coffee. It's a one-time payment and helps me out with this channel so I can keep improving my content and also consistently create creative content for all of you. The link will be in the description below. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so we can keep hanging out and I shall see you in the next video. Bye!